Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I've done my MBBS from GMC Srinagar. I then did my MD from AIMS New Delhi and now I'm a DM cardiology student at AIMS New Delhi. In this video, I'll talk about the new academic calendar that was given by National Medical Commission. And it's about uh, the new MBBS uh, pattern uh, for the batch 2022. So those of you who have successfully qualified in the NEET UG and are about to join a medical college, so this is the academic calendar for your next full MBBS course, right? So uh, it's going to start from 15th of November, 2022. And then you will have first year, second year, third year, part one, and third year, part two, or you can call it fourth year, right? So there's been a slight modification in, you know, what constitutes a particular prof. Now, uh, there's not much of a difference in first year. It is the same anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, the basics of medical science are taught there. S and it's about 13 months. The second year is about, again, preclinical subjects, pathology, microbiology, pharmacology. It's, again, 13 months. Third year part one is about two subjects, the forensic medicine, toxicology, and community medicine, or what you call preventive and social medicine. It's about 10 and a half months. Okay? And then what is now is that this third year part two, it constitutes all the clinical subjects. It's going to include general medicine, general surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics, gynecology, and the other smaller subjects of MBBS like, M like ENT or ophthalmology. And that is going to be about 18 months, 17 and a half months, right? So that is the pattern. First year for 13 months, second year for 13 months, third year part one for 10 and a half months and third year part two for 17 and a half months. And once you're done with that, then there will be a mandatory one year rotatory internship. Okay, that's for one year, that's 12 month duration. And then if you're interested, you'll go for a PG. Now, again, as I mentioned that MBBS first, these are the books. Now, I'm not recommending that you go and buy these books, but this is just for reference that you're gonna use anatomy, you're gonna use physiology, you're gonna use biochemistry, very basic subjects regarding human physiology, human anatomy, and some part of biochemistry. And you'll be you know, introduced to small, small discussions on the different diseases of human uh, systems. And then in the second year, which is again of 13 months, you will read the details of pathology, pathophysiology, the diseases, what these diseases look in the different organ systems, how do they, how do they manifest, and how do they occur? How do they evolve? And how do you treat those diseases, okay? And then the subject of microbiology, where you learn about all the organisms, all the bugs that cause so many infections. In addition, you read immunology in that, in that year. Again, this is for 13 months. And then what is different is this third year part two. Third year part two, probably this is just, you know, the, the fact that you have to appear in next immediately after your, after your MBBS, this third year part two. So which means that in these 18 months, third year part two, 18 months, you'll be reading all the clinical subjects. And then the next exam immediately after your MBBS part two, this third year part two, would be based mostly on these clinical subjects. It will be based on medicine and surgery and, and, and stuff like that, pediatrics and gynecology and all that stuff. And then there will be 12 months of uh, internship, which, and, and this is not hard and fast, you know, they've given date 16, for example, MBBS second year from 16 December to 15th of January. There will be slight change, you know, in your individual college, but roughly it will be 13 months throughout, wherever you do your MBBS from. Now, a special request to you, you're going to join a medical school. This is an entirely different game than your class 11th, class 12th. I, I, I remember you when you enter class 11th, class 12th, you join it as a race, a race for NEET UG, right? You join immediately a coaching center. You start your preparation immediately, okay? But that's not what MBBS is meant for. MBBS is a medical, the, the, your college is a medical school where you learn about the entire human body, the diseases, the manifestations, the treatments and all, the skills that you have to acquire so that you'll be able to understand patients, understand their disease processes and then be able to treat them. Your MBBS is not meant for neat PG preparation. So you're not going to join medical school, first year MBBS and then immediately start running after prep ladder, marrow and all, what to, what to read, what all questions to attempt. No, MBBS is a beautiful science, learn, human body, learn disease, learn their treatment, learn it bedside from the patients, from the faculty in your medical college, which are 100 times better than the MCQ doctors who are teaching you on these platforms. Remember, a clinician in your medicine ward, a clinician in your surgical ward, 
or a surgeon with whom you're going to accompany in your clinical postings while he's operating and he's showing you the anatomy live. It's, that doctor is a million times better than an MCQ doctor who is teaching you on these platforms. Okay, so you're not using these you're not using these apps in first year, second year. You definitely you can try in third year. You this these they will help you in fourth year while you're preparing for an entrance exam. These apps will help you in entrance exams, but they won't make you great doctors. No, that you have to use, that you have to do in your medical school, in your medical college, from the patients, from your professors, they will make you good doctors. These applications will definitely help you in exams and definitely you know when to use marrow, when not to use. So not in your first year, not in your second year, maybe in your third year part one and definitely in your third year part two you'll be able to use these platforms especially their tests and all so that's about today's video thank you